All right, let's get right into this match. We're up against Aatrox top. We have to essentially generate a kill until level like seven or so. Because at level seven, he has a four point in his Q, which means that we can't actually kill him too um, comfortably in lane. He's going to be able to waste his Q to poke us over and over again. The first Q, which has no counter play practically with E. So, yeah. Man, is that really what Aatrox sounds like? Because this filter is like a bit like less um, intense than his like, you know, default filter. So he just sounds so weird, like a normal guy. <laughs> My blade attacks actually blend with his skin, so they're a bit tough to, like, see. I messed it up. Want to get a word out, but... You know. Let's see us. Let's just keep vision around the area so that Ringer can't sneak into a bush or something. I try to pre predict it with my E, but... I like even pressed it, just not fast enough. Let's see if he does it again, I suppose. Ugh. I lost all my health with that. I gotta shove right now. Okay. I seriously tank that? Okay, let's get out. We could have maybe dove him, but the Rengar's here, so it's best if we just leave it alone. Alright, we've got a recall. I'm a free kill for those two. Can just walk up here. Because the wave is like pushed all the way up here, I'm like in a bad position. Let's get our boots. Let's get some armor. Then let's walk into lane. All right, um, we did waste our ghost there for sure, but on the brighter side, we actually got the crash in, so the wave isn't in, like, the worst position possible. It's still in a position that's, like, playable to an extent, right? Not to an extent, it's just straight up playable, <laughs> like, it's good. Um, he loses more here than me, actually, because it's pushing into me, so I guess we'll be making a difference in this lane by CS difference, more so than, like, a kill difference. Can reach that? No! Oh. Man. Like the indicators keep messing up my dodging of it. Like the Q indicators for him. When he missed his W, that was like it for him there. It Shucks needs his W to beat Darius in fights. Without it, like you can basically just destroy him because the, the W doesn't just set up one Q. It sets up the entire combo. Like you do Q1 W, and then it sets up w, like Q2. Then it sets up Q3 after the game. Like you use your second Q to like stop the Darius from getting out, and the third one to like once he's pulled in the middle. But if you mess that, like, W up and miss it, then it's just a free kill. That's why it's like, you know how when Set misses his W, or he uses it to CS, you can just ghost up on him and kill him? That's the same with Aatrox. If you're just playing the lane, and he's not, like, right outside his turret, and he wastes his W, you can seriously just ghost up on him, force a fight, and you'll probably just win. Provided you don't, like, stand still and eat every center Q, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah. This is Ignite Gone, but not his Flash, so we should try to keep that in mind. I'll force another fight here. I'll get level 6 for one, one more minion. I should've just hooked right there. Also, the Rengar might get in here. Never mind, he's bot lane. Should track him better. Ugh. 
Decent trade initially, but then he got that center Q with his W off. Now, he doesn't have Ignite, so we should be able to win the fight here. If we force it. <coughs> Let's just freeze this then. If he messes up and overextends, then we go for the kill. Doesn't get the cannon there, which is good. That's both stones gone. Bam, bam. Old gun as well. Let's crash this bad boy in. We're getting destroyed, actually. On, like, a map scale. Also, I have to get anti-heal this game. Because Aatrox, Silas, and the Rengar are all massive healers. So a Kempong Chainsaw is going to be huge here. Yeah, <laughs> just kill me instantly. Ugh, there's nothing I could do. Um, what can we go here? I think Striper is gonna work best in our favor. Sep kills against the Aatrox. Sep kills against the Rengar too. If I like walked in the middle of the lane, and then just like, then he jumped on me, then there's a world where I can just like hook him and just run away. But then he could just go like empower D and stop me from doing that, so eh. I'm practically dead there anyway with that low HP. Like I either kill him there or I get destroyed. I'm gonna go Stride Breaker and then straight up into um Kimbuck Chainsword. I might just build this into an executionist right now. Just to get that anti-heal earlier on. I thought that Minion would be gone. I'll try to be careful. Because Rengar could be just camping at bush. We don't want to get jumped on. I oh, might ult soon, so... Might be able to just one-shot the Rengar, actually, if he jumps on me. Alright. He's not here. Go away. How annoying is this? <sighs> He's just farming bot lane, so I should... I kind of have to just make things happen up here. Man, I kind of wanted to flash Q flash WR him, but I was just surprised he got into my Q flash range, so I didn't go for it. Seriously? Ugh. <laughs> that was close. Oof. That's why I love attack speed. Now let's have the Rengar kills with ult again. <laughs> it's like the tradition at this point. <laughs> Just have him do it again. Uh, we're pretty close to Strikebreaker. That's good. Um, I'll spare myself the anti-heal for now. 
Should be able to put him down here, actually. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Good. Unless they get in here. Yeah. Oh, man. That Nami are. Isn't this a... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so <laughs> messed up that we couldn't put him down there. Ugh. Whatever. I do not tolerate cowardice. Okay. You might just come up top side by now, so let's be careful. Nice still there. Okay. Keep this freeze up. Make sure you can't do anything. Alright, extra is the wrong bot, so I have to push out. And get these plates. Not the most useful we'll roam by the Aatrox, so we get one plate, but we gotta run fast. Just back. Never mind, Rengar's not coming up. We can just stay here a bit long. A bit longer. Impatient, wasn't it? Nice, we got turret. Good. Let's go for the next turret too. Even if we don't get it, it's good to have Salas back here. Oh, never mind, we can get it too. Nice. Like bottling for sure dies, but at least we get a bunch of gold in return. Also, I mean, I don't know. Roaming down as Victor is a bit of a gamble. I think it's safer to just go for the turret plates there. But oh well. Okay, he got kills. That's pretty good. But they got kills, you know, him, but... They got some kills out of that, so the gamble sort of paid off, but I still think that going for the plates here would have been more worth it, because he could have gotten, like, three plates there in that time. Or two, maybe. I'm not sure how much damage to Victor does to turrets without his, like... I don't know. How much does the turrets just straight up? <laughs> so, maybe two plates, but still, it's still the kills worth of gold. Um, gold wise, we're kind of good in a decently, like, okay ish position. I almost forgot about the anti we had to get for this game, but we remembered. Remember. Hmm. Gotta crash the turret again. I'm gonna crash the wave into, not into a turret, but just push this wave out of my turret. Also, um, not too sure how much we can actually do here, especially considering how our bulb just died. Either way, for my flash to go for fights, well, my flash is gonna be quite sketchy. Yeah, Ringar is target number one, Saws are target number two. Let's get like some deep ward in here. My destination is clear. This is this mountain, okay. If I can maybe like um just cheese, like bush cheese someone, I can one shot them. Goes there. All right. Let's try to play around here. Rengar's being really risky. So maybe he might just int. I don't know. Their whole team is here, so it's just a lot less likely now. Ugh. Clearly our team's will to fight this game out has... Oh, let's get here. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Seriously? He just ulted out? Ugh.
another chance for me to get it, and I... Oh my god. I'm so tilted, actually. So tilted here. I gotta fight. I'll just let the Heimer have this CS, I suppose. Let's get some top waves and go get our Kempong Chainsword. Don't need too much gold. But yeah, it just sucked that, like, I didn't reach the Rengar in time. Like, if I catch him there, we just straight up one-shot him because of how squishy he is. Can't get behind him. To know. No, it's risky. I'll, uh, just hang around here, actually. Ugh, I got the Noxium Might, but it didn't matter. Hmm. Maybe we can... What is he doing here? Might be able to catch him. If his ult isn't back up. Oh my god. She walked all the way around me. Ugh. Whatever. At least we got one kill. Um, I can't actually fight this. I don't have R. So I... I'm not too confident about our ability to secure this. We also don't have Maokai here, so... Yeah, I should've just listened to my guts instead of going for that stupid engage into an objective we weren't gonna get in a thousand years. Let's go Sterex. When he gets on me like that near a bush, I have to just stride instantly. I think, like, he just goes on me, runs to the bush, and it's, like, a bit hard to just angle my abilities. So I think I have to insta-stride and then RW, or just WQ, I guess, before he gets to the bush again. There we go, ghost up again, but he's gonna have flash, so... Not sure if I can kill him. I can kill his Silas, though. I can kill anyone on their team, it's just, like... The main issue is, they group up, and also, like, we don't have anybody that's useful so far. Practically everyone's just a bit worthless. Which makes this match... ...not playable, let's be honest. Let's march on, then. They have way better vision than us, too, honestly, because we have no vision, like, anywhere where we can make aggressive plays. Got two kills. They got the Rengar on their own, so that's worth it. Yeah, it took... <laughs> they 4v1 the Rengar and somehow put him down. Yeah. On the good side, the Victor got that kill, so he should be doing a lot more damage now with the gold once he spends it. I don't know if he actually kills a Caitlyn here. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of stupid to even go for. <sighs> Gotta go, like, um, Oracle, actually. Because of how much vision they have, I'd rather just know where they have vision and where they don't. So I can actually go for plays, stuff like that. If I'm not mistaken... Um, nah, never mind. I thought that Nami had a bounty, but she didn't. 
I'm still of the opinion that support should get bounties as well. We should probably get some vision out around the Baron, because, like, <laughs> this way, the way we're positioned right now, they can just take it, like, instantly. I have my hey, yeah, we're just giving it. Okay, whatever. They didn't even start it. Um, so are we gonna actually do something? Why is the Maokai there? So annoying. I got flash, so I might be able to get some kills off. Nice! Okay, we got the kills. Oh, that's so bad. Got, oh, Shaq was dead, Shaq was dead. We shouldn't, we shouldn't, we shouldn't. But that, was, that went pretty well, I'd say. Got a bunch of kills. The Shaco died for it, but honestly, like... Getting the Rengar for the Shekou is always worth it. We're kind of mounting a tiny, slow comeback, if I can call it that. Not sure I would, but it's kind of looking like it, I guess. Alright. Any uh, vision? Nope. Clear way about recall. Okay. I'll probably sell my refill pot. Be closer to Cerex. Doesn't really matter too much though, because it's just like 150 health. <laughs> I think they nerfed refill pot to 100, yeah, so. Before when it was 120, you could maybe argue that, like, hey, you get, like, 240 HP technically from the refill potion. Because if you use it, it heals, but... Now the argument is a bit... Ugh. I almost one-shot him there, but then the Aatrox gets right in to save him. How did he get behind me, even? That's what I want to know. One shot here. Yeah. I don't think he kills the Rengar. Just saying. That E dealt like 300. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. He shouldn't do that when the Heimer is not in the position to do anything. Nice. Alright, cool, cool, cool. All right, we're we're starting to kill him now. We're starting to kill him now. Good. Uh, he's gone. I'll just push the wave out. Make sure to keep my level up. I have a pretty like, I'm pretty like well farmed this game. It's like, even though we died and stuff, we're not technically that like like behind at all, right? So if I can just ride this wave, and then, you know, get level 16, I could be getting a lot of work done. <sighs> okay, let's get Sterex. Pretty useful here. Helps us not get one-tapped. They're kind of together, so I'm not too confident about our chances this here. Objective fight. Never I wanted to get a flank. He's flashed though.
Man, thought I could one shot him, but he killed me instead. Yeah, that's my bad. I thought we could like maybe catch the Silas there. Then we could have an easy objective, right? Because we could get like a free kill initially. But nah. Let's get more armor. Nah, let's just stay in this game. <laughs> This is so messed up to like play, like in general. Like the rest of the team isn't that much of a threat. I can just play normally, but we either kill him and win, or he lives and just you know one taps everything. Grab this. No one's taking it. Let's get top wave as well. Nice. Okay. I mean, <laughs> we go one for one there. <laughs> Man, his ult dealt like a bunch of damage actually. Which I did not expect, but yeah, I mean, we we're basically building no magic resist, so of course it's understandable that he kills us that quickly. Let's get Gargoyle Stoneplate then. I bet that bonus damage is just because of my Sterex shield. Go for the Caitlyn. Alright, they're getting both. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Good. They should be able to put this Aatrox down too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stop this. I guess don't stop it. Yeah, can't. It's not a don't, it's a can't. Okay. Let's just clear this wave out. Try to kill him here. I'll go for a flank. Okay, Heimer, Shaka can go for it. Did I actually get him? Alright, this is just. Uh, too much move speed. He's still like in jump range. I'm gonna stick around so that the shotgun doesn't get a one shot. Alright, he's on. Maybe you shouldn't recall there. <laughs> yeah, that's not We kind of got him to waste his abilities, but it's not like he's, like, useful to his team. So it's not the most significant gain, I guess. Get this in 30 seconds. Doesn't reach anyone? My man's about to do a full Q combo on a single Heimer turret. <clears throat> I get kills here, good. Um, shouldn't chase.
Oof. Oh! He's just killing her. Nice! Nice! Alright, All right, we're getting some work done. We're getting some work done. Oof, that was close. Let's uh, try to save our turrets here. Man, that was so like... <laughs> That's such a high pressure moment. I guess I could have just flash R the Rengar instead of going for that auto attack, but... Oh. Well, worked out in the end. Man, that's a lot of gold. <clears throat> we can just straight up go for our gargles here. Actually, they have a... Uh, you know, this. So is it actually, like, worth it? Let's think. Um... Not too much, I'd say. It's already gonna be on me because of Sterex, so might not. Sorry. Let's get for, like, let's get another armor item. I'm thinking, like, a randos or something. Like that. Let's run in here quick. They just instantly engaged. Well, this is the elder, so it's important. Oh, does Shaka just get one shot? Okay, this is so bad. We literally lost everyone's health before the, like, the... They're doing it already. Shaka got one shot. Ugh. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. At least we got them off it. Ugh, almost, almost, almost. Man. If we lose the Elder there, it's GG. So I had to do something, but... I guess it's just GG now. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this game was just lost from, like, the first second of it. Right? Once, not the first second, but, like, a few minutes once the ring, I started just farming Baldwin for kills. And these guys were basically playing like they didn't want to win. Like, it was just lost at that point. So, yeah. We had a chance to win this if everyone just kept their, you know, carefulness up. I sure, like, made a few mistakes of this manner myself. But, yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Oof, if I got the Noxium right there, I would have killed her there too. Oh well. Alright, we're up against Shen Top this time. The enemy team is pretty melee, so we should have a decent time playing team fights. Unless one of them gets like really fed, which is <laughs> kind of a likelihood. Okay. <clears throat> Shen's playing TP, so I should be able to push him around more in lane. But. That's kind of contingent on us not getting any pressure from the enemy forest man. Okay. That was some leash she was giving the hacker. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> um, <laughs> I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get a clean kill off in that all-in, but he just flashed instantly, which made it worth. <sighs> Let's crash this in. <laughs> uh, look at this.
Darius just doing like a ring around the rosy with the entire minion wave was a bit hilarious. <clears throat> Not sure where the Hecarim is yet. Oh, he's been spotted. All right. I missed that CS, that sucks. Let's just catch this wave around here. Then try to go for an all in. But I have to be really careful with like how I thin this wave out, because it will get to a point where it's too massive for me to kill him in. Which is not a point I want to get to. Salsk gets a triple kill. Not good. <clears throat> nope, let's get the checker. I low key wanted to kill for myself, but I don't mind just the Syndra taking it. She is getting destroyed by the Silas, so maybe a little help might be good. <laughs> Just turned around and left. So that kill was good. Um, the bad part is that I'm now stuck dealing with this wave. Because I don't have teleport. Yeah. Not exactly the best moment for us. Let's just teleport here. Let's just wait until our mana gets back up. Once we get like 200 or so, we might be able to just straight up all in with um, level 6. And Hecarim just broke this freeze I had. Whatever. Let's recall. It's a cannon wave, so we can kind of hope that he doesn't get too much out of this recall. He's going to get level 6, though, so the team best be uh, prepared to handle that. Ping, ping. Gotta ping his ultimate like crazy, because I'm not gonna lie, half the reason why Shen ult is so successful is because most players play like it does not exist, right? So, <laughs> you just get people like, you know, playing into it so often, all the time. Yeah. As long as it don't call, get caught like in a bad position, I might be able to do one, but if the Hecker has ult, then probably not. I'm a fan of how like he's playing around me, cause like if I like if I wanted, I could just auto attack him with how close he's staying to me. So I'm kind of convinced there has to be someone here helping him. Whatever the case is, let's just keep the wave around here. There's no one here. Seriously. <laughs> Ugh. That was kind of disgusting at the end of there, especially. <sighs> I don't know, like, standing that close to me was just nothing short of, like, like wanting to die. Like, as you guys saw, like, it just took, like, this for me to walk up on him and kill him with my ghost. So I was so convinced that he had to have some sort of like jungle help, but apparently he didn't. Which is confusing. Oh well. Um let's see, what's good for this team? I'm gonna go for Triforce. Be a uh, big carry. Big boy. Um I just pinged her back so she keeps in mind that there can be one more person in there to deal with. Let's walk into this jungle. 
the Hecarim tries to counter jungle or whatever, we should be able to catch it 2v1, even if the Shen TPs. Right, he's backing off. Let's go back top then. Try to bully this Shen even further. He's not used his ultimate yet, so... Uh, the team should be careful. But on the bright side, if he does use his ult, I'm kind of equipped enough to the point where I should be able to just get a bunch of plates going. Until he gets teleported up, of course. Oh. Okay. He didn't TP. That's good. Maybe they killed him before he could TP. I don't know. Let's crash this turret. Let's just crash the wave into the turret. I don't much care about, you know, getting perfect CS at this point. I just want this wave around here so that we can just, like... Stop him from impacting the rest of the map. Because if you're constantly pushing a wave into the Shen, he can't ult. Right? And if he's pushed the wave into you, then that's like the perfect opportunity for him to ult. Okay? Nothing's happening so far, so maybe we can just play the lane normally, but the second the fight happens, we gotta shove, shove, shove. And if the jungler is here, then that's just unfortunate because. You know, either you push up or die, or Shen teleports bot side and your team dies, so. Unfortunate choice, really, at that point. Okay, <clears throat> let's go, let's go. I didn't react fast enough. As long as they're fighting, I can just go for gold here. This is nice. I get so much gold out of here. I think I get the turret just straight up on its own. Nice! <laughs> this sheriff just cyber bullied the Shen into giving me the turret. Great job. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm sure you guys are sick of the Darius W sound effect by now. Ooh, let's get out. <clears throat> when you kill a ward, like, there's some vision of it, like, for a few frames before it goes out, so I just recalled there to see if they'd go for me or whatever. Like a bait, in a way. Mm. Let's go for stats. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> what boots are good this game? Um... No, nothing really. Um, I don't really see which, because I can't get Toppies, right? It's just, I guess the Hecarim, but Toppies don't really help against him much. So, Merc Treads, I suppose, because I got a lot of CC, right? Oh no. Um, now if she landed that slam thing, the dash, that would have been a kill on the Silas. Whatever, we got out, at least, with our flash. Okay, that's his flash gone. Let's recall before this gets uglier. We're too low HP to, like, fight this out. Okay, yeah, that was a <laughs> pretty needed emergency flash there. I drink some water. Shen's pushing a wave into our top turret, so we better just come here collected. I'm currently drinking a Pellegrino. It's my favorite sparkling water brand. But yeah, enough about that. 
Let's clear this wave quickly. And then... I guess try to go for kills. I mean, we can't really do much here. We got the dragon, right? There's nothing else to go for. There will be in a minute or so and we'll go for the... Herald. But nothing until then. Also, we just learned that the enemy team is already fed enough to one-shot us. So we should perhaps be a bit more careful, like in general. Hecarim also finished the Divine Sunder, which makes him very strong. <laughs> Let me see. Once the Ash gets like her ultimate, maybe we can go for like a cheese kill on the Silas. Their vision game is quite like <laughs> next level, I guess. Pretty good. Hecarim's down here. Stun him! Oh my god. Ugh, oh, that was so bad. I hooked him out of both of their CC. Jesus. I wouldn't say that we're at fault for that, but man, I thought they'd use their like big CC earlier, right? Obviously. Because like, at, at this point, we're still at the point of catching him, right? I thought this is when they use their big CC. But here, we've already caught him, right, with my hook. And then they use their big CC. I just couldn't level with them there. Jesus, that's just so unlucky, man. Whatever. Those kinds of players are the ones that, like, just lose you games, though, so... I'll try to play extra carefully to not have these guys 2v5 the game. Uh, Herald's up. Should go for that. Pretty free. I didn't know I dealt that much damage, honestly. <laughs> okay, I last hit that way earlier. Okay. Homie looking for revenge. Okay, let's chill out. Can I get this? Can I get this? Oh, this is getting messy. Okay, well, let's just leave. Let's just leave it. Dude, that ash was so good. That Ash made that whole thing way more possible for me. Like, like I really needed that extra slows. Man, great work, great work. Great work, buddy. All right. That was a disastrous play that we just saved. Me and this dude right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's recall. Um, we don't want to get caught here. Uh, they're just straggling, looking for kills. Yeah, let's go see. Okay. Is this one the look we're gonna get here? Nope. Okay. Um, let's go for Sterics Gauge, Merc Treads, and then go for DD. We're already in a position where we're just dunking people left and right, so like we can just straight up go for the aggressive option. I'll walk around mid. Because, as it seems, like, I think we already have the dragon, right? The enemy team is not really doing too much things around it. Hmm. I guess I'll get there, but I don't think they're going to contest this. So we should just be able to have it. Did we get anything with that? Oof, almost, 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 almost. Okay, uh... I'll push out tall, I mean bot then. Just to be near the dragon. We're giving up like our top turret to Shen, I'm aware of that, but I have to be there for whatever's going on here because we're still not confidently winning fights, if that makes sense. Okay, let's get in here quickly. Alright, we won. Good. 
Oh. Oh. Nice. One kill. I, I'll just do the dragon with the Heimer. They can do the turrets. Yeah, do that. It's better, like, because they don't have any health, actually. I'm the only one who has, like, the meat to do this dragon. So they can get the turrets, and I'll just do this objective. Better, you know, golden come for a team overall. It sucks that Heimer didn't get that, though. I mean, he is Heimerdinger. It's not like he's getting <laughs> wave curve that much. Man, I wish the dragon gave more gold when he killed it. Harold does. And Harold's a big boy. Make no mistakes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just clear our bot lane again. Then, yeah, just join the game later. Going for some sort of flank that we just did. The thing is, our flank would have been like devastating for the enemy team. If our team wasn't so, like, <laughs> dominant already. Just lay down and die, buddy. Gotta love that move speed. Just walk up to her, chase her down without even, like, <laughs> needing ghost. Ah, how beautiful. Okay, let's get this turret. Should be pretty easy. Their old team's like top. Just scattered around. That doesn't sound good. I don't think they should engage, but like Ah that, I messed that up. I messed that up. If I got if I got the hook, I could just one shot her under the turret. The thing is, she might have her ultimate by now, so I'm not sure how we'll... should that be. I do not tolerate Let's get out. Shen's here. <sighs> they still got this Kaisa matching me. I'm not sure what they're on about. Kind of go mid to get that in him. Almost. All right, we got we got a triple kill. <laughs> nice. That was a one v three triple kill. If we had death dance, we killed the Hecarim there too. Very well. Um, what item can we even get at this point? That's gonna <laughs> help this kind of play style, just running around the map, killing everything. DMP. But I doubt we can even get anything. Yeah, game server. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back with some more league gameplay, and we're up against Warwick Top, I think. He's running this, like, really crazy setup with lethal tempo, exhaust, and ignite, so killing him is going to be quite tough. But I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a matter of, like, not actually getting in his melee range, right? We've got to make sure to not let him get on top of us so that he can't just spam all the attacks and just put us down, right? Thing is, with ignite, he kind of has a way to just, like slow us down so that he can walk up on us get more attacks on us so we have to basically counter that with our ghost things our ghost is weaker than exhaust early so it's gonna be quite tough but uh, yeah let's just hope this doesn't go disastrously it's been a while since i fought warwick right warwick is quite a cheesy top laner he doesn't really do anything for his team, right? He's not a good source of damage. He's not that tanky. He doesn't have that good CC because, you know, you can just cancel his ultimate. So, like, the best thing Warwick does is just cheese kills top lane and make top lane unplayable for the opposing top laner. So, if you just basically, like, if things get bad, you can at least just wait, right? And you'll probably be way more useful than in, in like, fights, right? 
But beating a 1v1, it's like you gotta kind of like scale into it if that makes sense. So yeah. They also got Katarina Karma bot lane. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> this match is so weird. Ugh. They didn't even use his Q for the CS. This guy's just deranged. Yeah, this guy's completely crazy. Okay. He doesn't even, like, adjust to maybe dodge my Q. He just runs straight at me. This is so weird. Okay, whatever. Yes. I gotta just make sure to hit him with like the outer edge of my Q. He can't like Q in when it's like on the outer edge, just like in the middle he can Q in on you and get on top of you. That's what I gotta exploit essentially. <clears throat> Bro, who's giving him move speed? They will regret opposing me. Well, not me. <sighs> He's got so much move speed for no reason, man. Such a tough matchup to play. Like, this is actually unplayable. Alright, at well, least missing. I have no idea where he is. There he comes. I'll take that. There's Kiana. I suppose this game is going to be a great test of my patience. And it seems that I've failed. I just thought she'd be recalled by that point, so I went to trade, but nah. That's both their ignites gone. And the exhaust. This game is going to be completely unplayable. I got to just, like, call it quits. Just play it safe. Like, this is a complete cheese that's designed to just mess up my laning. And the it's like the only way you win is by just not playing the game. I guess not playing League is <laughs> probably the best thing you can do. But um, I meant that in the sense that if you just interact with the lane it's going to be a lot tougher than just playing it like normal I and mean, then just not playing it at all playing it like like normal would be interacting with the lane we'll use both of sums Attack speed is so high. Okay, I gotta leave. He's gonna get a level 6 from this and just insta army. He got so much healing from like the wave, it's insane. I won't question it. I will not question it. I have learned not. <laughs> I've learned not to. Uh. Okay. I, I <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god. This is completely insane. I feel like this is some sort of nightmare dimension of horror where my brain's just 
making up random scenarios, but nah, it's not. I am awake right now. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I'm not sure if this, if I should cheese it like this, but something's telling me I should just go Thornmail first item. <laughs> just so that I don't have to deal with this healing too much. Yeah. How useful. The W has like a massive cooldown too, so yeah, it's pretty good. So you can't use it for like a long time. I have my orders. <clears throat> you should just use like his W there. I really want to hook him there, but the thing is, right, I need my hook to deal with his ultimate. So if I waste my hook, he can just ult me. But if I keep my hook, I can just cancel his ult. Nice. Once you just surround him like that, there's no escape. What he should have done is just like... Instantly ult out. The second the Echo got there, he should have ulted out. This has already reduced so much. Like, keep in mind, this doesn't seem like a lot, but for 25% Grievous Wounds, this is quite substantial. This guy's healing like cray cray. Cray cray. <laughs> if, if, I'm, if I may be so bold as to use the term cray cray. Let's step in here, see what's up. If I can stop him from taking some of those camps, he shouldn't have level 6, so I could just kill him. But if he does, then we're into a problem. My destination is clear. Bow lanes also slowed down how fast they're winning, so that's not good. I just want to scare him off of it. Like, I'm not here to fully contest it, because this guy can just run down, but I'm just here to make sure he's, like, stepping off so he doesn't get it. While our team's not even up here. He, he can probably just go back on it. Not probably, definitely. He just go back on it. Like, nothing changed. This guy does not respect my five stacks like at all. So it's like really easy to just put him down. When I can sneak some stacks on him, I can just use my flash to just, you know, kill him. We just have to be really careful of his ultimate, right? Can't use her E when his ult's up. The thing with Warwick R is that although itself is unstoppable, once it latches onto someone, you can very easily CC him, right? Everybody knows this. But what not a lot of people don't know is that if you yourself have CC that's unstoppable, you can peel him off of yourself. So as Darius, if he ults me and I press E towards him, because E has a cast time, like it goes out and then it pulls people back, right? By the time Warwick latches onto me, he will finish that cast time and then pull people back. And you'll essentially pull the Warwick back towards yourself. And just, like, <laughs> you know, like, pull him off of yourself. You could do this with, like, Set, I think. Just champs in general who have unstoppable CC can do this. CC so that when they get CC'd, it, it's, it doesn't get cancelled. A lot of characters, really, but... <laughs> Ooh, is he picking a fight with a W man? Oh, 
That was a good reaction. Doesn't he just die to the turret? What? Strength above all. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is this. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. This match is like. It's not the most cheesy match I've ever seen, but it's close, right? Not close in terms of like the sheer weirdness, but like. It's like. Un you guys know what Uncanny Valley is? It's like. Something that's not human resembling a human, like almost. So this is like. The uncanny canny valley of league games and warg spot lane. Um, makes a lot of sense. Is he just going to die here? <laughs> oh my god, this guy's just hinting. Yeah, he's just hinting now. Well, I guess this one's GG. Hey guys, it's me Roku showing you how to <laughs> win a game when your opponents are inting. Like, there's just the breathing noises. Every time Darius cuts with his axe in the skin. Not gonna lie, I wasn't a big fan of the skin initially. Hmm. That was me expertly kiting them and pulling them into Echo's W, so that they're both dead like that. Actually, I should just recall because the Kiana is just going to kill me here. Alright, never mind. She's down there. But I still don't want to fight anyone because I do, don't have mana for like two abilities. Well, I do. Yeah, I do. But is that enough? Who knows? Um, should we join the Fiesta is the question that's on my mind right now. Hmm. I kind of want to just like lose my mind and go for some stupid build. <laughs> Screw it. I'm done with this game. <laughs> uh, this is so troll. Though I doubt it matters too much. Yo. Don't feed the troll. He's straight up running down. There's not even like a modicum of, hey, I'm going to soft int, right? Like I'm just running in and fighting over and over again. But like soft thing is basically just finding ways to int that like, you know, the riot system won't catch. So if you're like a split pusher, for example, you just go silent over and over again. You die over and over again. That's like soft inting, right? Because you're literally inting. You're just throwing the game down for no reason. But... You're inting in a way where the game system can be like, oh, okay, this guy was just making the bad play over and over again, like, because he is human, happens, right? So, like, there is no soft inting here. This guy is just straight up over and over again. <clears throat> Let's get in here and use our Gale Force. Stomp them like a Goomba from my ult. And that's GG. Thank God this is over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, everybody. It's me. Welcome back with some more gameplay. That was English. And this is League of Legends. We just got invaded. And the enemy got a kill on our Lux. And now they are constantly harassing this Sever. Not allowing her to recall and all that bad stuff. I'm gonna play against Cinch Top. Um, I kind of forgot that I had to do this, but priority number one, if you don't have the leash, is to run with your minions, escort them, right? And um, sometimes that happens, yeah. When a Cinch tries to proxy, he basically just leaves himself a little defenseless because level one 
since she doesn't really have any ways to fight you, right? All he has is this poison trail. And if he ranks the flip, he can't, like, you know, kill the minions, so... Yeah. Pretty free. Level 1 kill there. Now we have to hold the wave right here, so as to not... Um... Let him play his game. Which is pushing the lane, and not playing, like, a normal laner. We want to keep the lane around us, ourselves, around our control, and stop him from going behind the wave to, like, proxy it or whatever, right? That's how you beat Singed. If you play the normal game and force him to play the normal game, you win. If you give him space to weasel through and start his cheese, then you kind of... You don't necessarily lose, but he starts to get more gold than you. Oof, what was that stutter? That was a gross stutter. Decent Q. He's running C pot, so it's gonna be quite tough to like, you know, grind his health to dust because he just has so much sustain. Give me that. Nice. Got the CS, got his TP. Recalling is not the worst thing here, but I'd rather just stay. As I mentioned earlier, I don't want the cinch to play the game, which is why we're going to have to constantly stay on the wave and continuously harass him. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to try to stay within XP range, but obviously because the Lee is in the jungle, another in the river, actually, taking the crab. Um, We can't walk up. All right, he's mid lane now, so we can. Quick little trade right there. I have my the wave slowly encroaching upon our side of the lane is quite good for us. Less space for him to weasel around, less space for him to dodge things. And once Rikos comes back up, we can actually go for like a chase all in kill. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna get that flip off, which is not good. I should have reacted. Like that. Pretty sure he just dies to bleed there. Man, these freezes are killer. Imagine that happens in the middle of a fight or something. Um, yikes. Gotta recall soon so I can actually check what's going on with my system. Okay, let's recall. Now we have to open, uh, do our task manager open combo. Very important combo if you want to play League of Legends because of how <laughs> badly optimized the game is sometimes. All right, let's lock in. Um, let's take in our resources here. Man, nothing crazy is like, you know, turned on. Yes, just OBS and League of Legends enabled. Whatever. It is what it is. Happens, etc. 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 We're back in lane with our wave, so he won't be able to proxy too well. I also kill him here. I didn't want to ult there because the echo was coming. And also, I would have killed him with my W anyway, so, like, you know. It would just be a waste of my ultimate. I should have honestly given the kill to the echo so that he could carry this bot side of the map. Like, I'm not going to get much more out of this Singed, really, so... Maybe not the best idea to take the kill for myself. His Ghost is down, so is mine. So that's nice. Let's play this carefully, because if he ults, he might be able to just... You know, walk past us if they're flipping us. So we have to use our W and E very carefully. Is your pot?
That was complete int from him. I'll leave this be. This isn't gonna push into him, because all our minions are, minions are low HP, it's gonna push into me. So it lets me get back to lane right here and pick up where I left off. Let's get Strybreaker. Not the best option, but it's like, I guess the least bad option. There are a lot of characters in here that, like, slowing them will be very important. So like the Karma, the Singed, Ezreal if I can get on top of them, right? So I think with Stride we can get a lot more done. Triforce is also a decent option here, right? Since we're getting so fed, we could just one-shot people, but... I don't know, right? <laughs> because we have an Echo that's gonna work with us, I'd rather just work with him, get my Stride out, etc. And just, you know, be helpful. I guess. Okay. Nice. He tried to shove and then quickly wrap around our jungle to get that proxy going, but the Lux roamed. I wasn't gonna let him either way, but still. Good that we got some help. Spread that gold. Sharing is caring. I want to go for that Q there, but I was like, if he just flips you under turret and roots you there, you're completely dead. So I stopped myself from doing that. Team's still around here, so. Oh my god, I queued up my W, but it didn't go through. Nice. Let's recall. Oh, he's actually going for this. Okay. We have to walk up and hit this turret before this charges in to get some gold at least. So cheese. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we got a full turret gold at minute nine. <laughs> That's Strabic already, and I don't think he's gonna let us recall here. Yeah. <sighs> this is gonna be quite annoying. Let's just wait until we have the mana to one shot him, but there's not much else we can do really. Yeah. I just wasted the mana there. Okay, that's just all tennis ghost gone. <laughs> this guy's fast. Oh my god! He actually cheesed the kill on me there. Ugh. Man, that actually worked out for them. I should honestly just recall instead of going for that turret. Like, going for that turret was pretty greedy from me. It was kind of just forced on me because of the Echo, but... Eh. I guess I could have just let it crash on its own and not dealt that killing blow right there. So I think that's mostly our bad. Yeah. What would I get for this match? I didn't pack any tenacity. I went for sorcery, so I'm going to go for Merc Treads and then Death Stance. We do need a bit of armor at least, so... I'm going to fill that role with DD. Okay. Dying there was really bad. I'd like to stress. Too greedy from us. Q. Q. Does he catch him? Okay. This <laughs> Ziggs just entered there. Oh no, he didn't get the kill? Oh my god, okay. Um, I thought he would get that. Really? My destination is clear. Where did he go? Man, I thought for sure he one shot him there. Oh my god, I should just moved. Yeah. 
And this guy does this thing. Wonderful. Uh, that was a tilt flash. I should have got my striper on him, by the way, there. Please tell me something kills him. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Alright, we gotta reset from this mental boom we have right now. It's just so annoying, man. Let's save up our sums to deal with the Leeson. We kinda have- we're one of the few people on the team with the meat to take him down, but... You know. I just wasted my sums until I'm this cinched. I mean, at this point it's not as much of a waste since he did get that gold reset. Camp here. I missed that cue. I would love to go for this red buff right here, but they're not on the map anymore, so there's a good chance that he's gonna come in, do these, and then go to the dragon. Oh my god, that's slow with Rylai's. Ugh. So difficult to deal with. Oof, Ezreal's ult. Let's get Grump right here for HP and mana. Let's take a one set. Man, <laughs> that was pretty stupid of a play for them to go for, but yeah, the echo was there to like follow up, so I just went for it. Been quite tough to shove this lane though. There we go. Let's recall. Get the parts for our death dance. I'll walk mid towards um this area so that if anything goes wrong in the dragon fight, I can respond. Let's get in here. Oh no. Yeah, Sir just dies instantly. Let's see if we can go for a flank or something here. Oh, Lee just died on his own. Okay, cool. We get the dragon for free. Oh, we don't. Uh, thought we back off after picking that one kill. Because he walked in here, their backline just left him to die. Because if they just kept going, I'd flank and kill them. <clears throat> Let's just sit in here and meet. Because the Ezreal might be able to pick some people off. Bam, let's go. Gotta go back top to push that out. I'll leave that to Sipper. She's behind everybody. Don't wanna tilt the ADC. You guys know how ADC players are. Come here, little Carrie. Come here. It's okay. Right click that CS. <laughs> I'm just joking, obviously. <laughs> <Make no laughs> Okay. Let's see if I can get some sort of kill here without using my R. Without using my um, sums, they're about to come up. R is fair game. 
Actually, I kind of want to get in here. Maybe cut this lease in off. Completely disengaged. Yeah, the second I came in, they just disengaged. Let's go top. Pick that wave up, I guess. This is a bit of an not the smartest thing to go for, I'd say. He's like a free kill here. <laughs> I kind of pulled him out of Luxar. That's always a problem with me. Because Hook moves people, right? When people are lining up their skill shots on like a stun target, I'll layer my E on top of what they did, but then they'll miss their skill shots because I like moved someone. Man. <laughs> 11 of our kills are just the singed. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think about. This is gone. Red buff is gone too. The likely option, really. <clears throat> Let's recall and get our destinies at least. Good dodge. Gonna go for Sterax. The default trifecta of items for carrying and damage. Anything happening there? Don't think so. Let's go top and just crash waves in. Also, she got executed by that Ezreal R, I think, right? Rest in peace, buddy. I'd love to flash RW and just R kill him, but I should have done that. Did I? Oh my god, I know for sure I ulted the karma there. What happened? I know for sure I pressed R on that karma. I have to check the recording of that. I have to check the recording of that. Because there's no way, my mouse wasn't even near the Lee. Like, she was there, he's here, and I are like that to like flash on it, and he does it on the Lee Sin? Oh, God. So tilting, so tilting. Maybe during like the cues or whatever, his hitbox moved over my cursor. Some stupid thing like that. Man. I am so upset because of that. <laughs> it's like... That was it. That was an easy triple get for me, but... Nope. League of Legends. Strikes again. How long till dragon? 40 seconds. I'll grab this and go. Whew. <sighs> Let's push mid out and then run in there. <clears throat> nope. We're in this game to win. Let's help out here. Let's try to. Can you just go for the dragon here? Yon's a bit cornered. Okay, it's fine. Let's get this. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> that death stance keeping you from recalling for like that additional three seconds. Always fun. <clears throat> Don't they one shot him here? He just runs like Usain Bolt. Still gets one shot. <laughs> okay. Um, I should be careful here. I'll push this one out.
Get some CS. Let's be a bit careful here. Their entire team is about to collapse on us. Unless the Echo is prepared to one shot the person getting on top of me, I don't want to put myself as a target out there. Okay. He's in this bush, so I hope he stays in it. The jig is up. Uh, anyone here? Nope. <clears throat> Never retreat. Lee's down there, so if we get the Sivir up here, we might be able to do this, Baron. I'll take that. <clears throat> Plant. Oh no. One kill. Okay, that's one kill. Yon ult, yon ult, yon ult. Ah! All these summoner spells. Man, if he just e ulted or something, whatever. At least we got summer spells and stuff like that out of the way. Decent, but not the pop-off we were aiming for there. So it's just decent, right? Let's get a Sterax. Go top. Get some jungle camps, kill some waves. Bro. They ought to make, like, you know, the hitbox of that a bit more clear. <laughs> it's just a thing that, like, yeah. It's quite hard to get your cursor on it, because, you know, the hitbox isn't the entire thing. It's just that little rock and a bit of the portal itself. This is risky. We got a bunch of health off of the karma though, so that's good. Can we sneak in here for rip off? Nice. That was perfectly done. Oh, I was limit testing too hard. All right, yeah, that was complete in for me to even go for that. It's like a one shot the Ezreal, but the Karma was there with him, so any chance of me doing that went down the drain. Who flashed here? Okay, on the bright side, with me dying there heroically, we could get the uh, Baron, so that's good. Also, Sivir. <laughs> Split pushes. I think that's the... Who is that? That's the Ziggs kill, right? Yeah, that's the Ziggs' bombs. <laughs> she solo kills their mid laner and takes the, the bot T2. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Hmm. Let's go for DMP. Get some Uspi going. At this point, it's just us running around the map and killing them, so we don't really need like uh, an emergency injection of stats or any other utility. Emergency. English. Let's use this portal to cut them off. Actually, no, I gotta walk through here. He didn't go up here? Are you kidding me? Man, I thought that was pretty clear that he'd flank from up here, and we'd like pincer him from like down here. Okay. Let's 
Uh, Yon dies without getting anything in return. We might be able to get this mid turret. Get in here, quick. Let's push the ball. Wait, what is going on? Oh, no, no. Get out of there, man. Let's go. I don't have flush. But I will run at the six. <laughs> Did he just disappear? Oh, my God. That zigs it was out like that. All right, let's kill these minions to get this wave up here quicker. I will not rest. Just pushing the wave in, ending the game. Not so much to really do. Oh, all right. <laughs> Maybe we should recolor something and not die. Never mind. We got more kills. Gigi. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. All right, everybody. Some more back with some of the content. We are playing against Renekton top. Let's try to. Go even at least, or maybe even win. Because the Renekton at least combo is quite... I hesitate to say it, but overpowered. Because basically he can just put in quick CC you, and then that allows for at least to get like an, a guaranteed cocoon. If you are in melee range with the Renekton. Makes that is not good. I had to use a Ghost early, because the... Uh, a lot of scouting in Trev Rush, the entire enemy team came upon me to try to maybe cheese a kill, so I had the ghost to get out. But didn't go too badly for us, we survived. Now obviously without ghost I can't go for a kill right here. Maybe. It's not missing any minion XP. I think we missed that one melee. Oh. Death by my hand. Let's get a ward down. At least it's gonna be here any second. Yeah, I think I gotta just hurry on with this. Crash it quickly as possibly as crash it as quickly as I possibly can. She went mid. <sighs> that kill would have made that trade way more worth it. <sighs> well, that was not smart. I just lost all my mana, which affects my ability to fight back. Let's chill for a bit. Nice. Everyone got in here. Nice. We had to like layer the CC essentially perfectly because everyone's CC is quite slow. And unlike, you know, the usual Evelyn, she can't really get into range to pop it better without her invis. So, we had to mess him up. And yeah, that flash from her was quite necessary to get that kill. But, I mean, early Evelyn ganks, their successful are, like, <laughs> really rare. So, we pulled this one off, which is good news for us. Let's walk back into the lane. We should be able to kill this Renekton now that we have our <clears throat> ghost up again. She put a ward down here, which is good. She'll be able to catch the Elise on that if she walks up. But I doubt she'll be topside for like the next two minutes or so. She ought to clear her other side of the jungle. Because Elise cleared a lot. She's got 34, but she, uh, if, I mean, I keep getting them mixed up. 
Evelyn cleared her Loth, so she has a lot of camps. But at least only has like 17 CS. Which means that she's cleared up like four camps. I had to focus there. But yeah. From the fact that she's clearly so little camps, we can tell that basically an entire side of her is not farmed, which allows us to go for risky things and get kills and get ahead, all that good stuff. They will regret opposing me. <laughs> As predicted, she was bot side. Since so she got stuff done there. Now that the Gromp has respawned, she only cleared one camp. Yeah, she's not farming at all. Good thing, because our jungler is way ahead. Bad thing, because she's focusing on ganking and getting a lot of kills. She's just running up and down the, the map, not even farming. Oh yeah, this is a loss. Fight for sure, the Moom is here. Perhaps we can get in here and get some kills. She's a kill here. Nope. I was waiting to see if the Elise would go for the chickens there. Then try to pick up a quick kill. Stay alert. But, oh, whoa. Cost in his head, so that's not good. Evelyn should have just left the Keanu to die there. I went for that because I wanted to kill both the Renekton and the Evelyn. I could have obviously flashed him to finish him off earlier, but with her in range, it let me get both of them. So that's his Ignite gone. The wave is set up in a decent position. Could be a bit better, honestly. I think I overcleared it with my Oxy my Q. Let's see here. Let's go for Triforce. Kassan is not going to be in our range for too long, so I want to be able to one shot him, the few milliseconds of opportunity I get of touching him. Yeah. I clearly overcleared this with my Q. It's just gonna be a pretty messy spot. Thankfully, Renekton Boy is here to fix the situation for us. If he got like a. got us to slow push into him, then him and the Elise could basically go for like a. Essentially a guaranteed kill on me. Man, that was something. Oh, perfect champions only. I think it's working. Man, she wasn't even here. Why would he go for that? I didn't want to follow up on that. Because I I thought the Ellie's would I gotta get these names right. I didn't follow up on that because I didn't think that the Renekton would go for such a trade on his own. And I was right, because the Kassadin was there. I should just trust my hunch. Yep, yeah, is starting to roam now. He also got my big bounty, so that sucks. <sighs> really unfortunate. I should just backed off here. Yeah. We reached a point where... The Amumu, the Kassadin, and the Elise are just running up and down the map three man, trying to get kills. So I have to prepare for massive rooms like that. I also hate it when the games get like this, but I just have no choice. Do you even get a kill on the Kassadin there? No, we don't. That was fair enough. Okay, let's farm a bit and get our Triforce going. Death by my Mid lane is such a mess this match. Ugh. Gross. Not flaming anymore, but I'm just saying like, there's so many fights going on in mid lane that it's like, <laughs> just a complete fiesta. I'm not a big fan of games when they get like this. 
45 extra damage on his Empowered W. Since they're missing, I'm just going to back off here. Don't want to get Gankarooned. <laughs> She's not farming at all. 36 CS? Ugh. Yeah, I thought that's going to, like, land. Because it requires him to be in the same position for, like, a long time when he's not in a position that we can easily kill. Are you kidding me? Oh, we got one kill at least, but that was unfortunate. Get this flash up. So he got out of range. To add insult to injury, Kostin was there to follow up on it anyway. I'm pretty sure he kills the Kiana. Or the Amum was just here to react. Man, this Amum is all over the map. Also, I might have to go Merp Treads into Renekton. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but... <clears throat> Like, at this point, the CC from his W and, you know, the Cocoon is way more of a threat. Nice, we actually put that guy down again. <sighs> more kills in Kassadin, the better. R, 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 Okay. Top lane is pretty messed up by this point. I know we got Triforce, but he's gonna get Bork right now, which makes it so that he can... One shot half our health with just one W. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. I'll take it. Should I cut her far? Cut, cut her off. Could you keep going? Oh my gosh, she just looked at least. Whatever. We collapsed on her, we could have maybe one shot her there. I was going to flash for her too. Man, these terror plates are so juicy, but I can't go for them because they're both here. Uh, League of Legends is so fun sometimes. So, so fun. We don't have ultimates on the Ev1 and the Kiana, so this is going to be quite tough. Can't really have it soon up. I will not mm. rest. They can't hang around here. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. <sighs> They're so weak that they can't even get anything done here. Right, one kill. Oh my god! How's that block it like that? Never Ugh. This is such a horrifying game, man. Just their roamers are just way stronger than ours at this point. You could also say that they have more roamers, considering how it moves all the way around. This makes everything so much more difficult than it should be. Let's try to clear ahead and look for more plays. Can't exactly just give up on this match. Man, this is even to mention how they have a winning bot lane. I have my yeah, this dream is not going to be useful for a while. He's actually keeping up in gold, which is kind of crazy, if I'm being honest. He's just got so much meat right now. 
I don't think I can kill him here. <laughs> that was a pretty perfect dash ult. Nice. I guess by taunting, he just put himself in a predictable position. Okay, let's recall. Spinner gold. Oh my god. This match is looking tougher and tougher by the second. Gotta get this. Let's get down here. Get some presents out around the dragon. Oh my gosh, she's going to die right here. Yeah. As is she. And I can't chase them down. So I go here, they go there. If I go there, they go there. Oh, is this my bad? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No mistakes. That was a pretty nice cheese kill. I thought I reached you in time though. Nice. Let's try to brute force his turret going. It was actually an insane choice to go for that kill instead of the turret. Well, we've pacified the Kassadin and the Elise. However, the Kaisa is now the new public enemy number one. Thankfully, Draven can 1v1 the Renekton. That's just the Renekton's build. If it went for... Well, he wouldn't be able to beat him right now anyway. But if the Renekton went for, like, um... I don't know what's called. The, the point-and-click assassin item. This thing. Prowler's Claw, yeah. If we went for Prowler, Prowler's Claw, he would essentially reach a point where all he has to do is eat ult, eat towards the Draven, Prowler's, and then just W. And that's basically most of his health gun right, right there. Does he die to bleed? Nope, I don't have the AD for it. And he has Frozen Heart. Obviously, I can't go for RW ult there because he just insta ults away. You kill him here. Oh my god, that was complete in from the Kassadin. That's pretty good. Man, actually came into clutch there. Her slowing everybody made sure that I had like basically the move speed advantage throughout the entire fight, which obviously makes things a lot easier to pull off because I can kite better, I can aim my abilities better. So, really useful. Just recall, get our Sterex. Sterex was buffed, so you get a lot of stats out of it. We kill them all, but the Kaisa gets my bounty, which is horrible. We should have just backed off. I didn't have the means to fight that. I could have also just focused the Mumu from the beginning. I think that would be the, that would have been the better choice for that. 
Could have gone worse. Now let's think about what we got to get this game. Death Dance sounds nice, but I feel like it's a bit overkill for the situation. I'd rather just tank up and go for items that'll make me beefier. What's the main source of damage? Kinda AP, but I gotta build up against the... Let's go for DMP here. For the utility of the move speed. Then I might go for, like, Force of Nature. After which I can just uh, finish this into Frozen Heart. The good thing about me building these two components instead of Chain Vest is that... Oh, I miss Cannon Minions. But really, um... These are also the exact components used by Force of Nature. So if the costing gets a bunch of kills, something like that happens, I can easily flex my build to fit that situation. Can we do this already? My or are we just waiting? Okay. Whoa. Nice. Okay, good. Can we... I guess we're not doing it. I suppose we can't without the Draven there. To DPS. Push that out. <clears throat> What's the cooldown on that? It's kind of like 30 at this point, right? Yeah, gotta be careful. Our team's not here to fight, which means that if the Amumu catches me, it's 1v4. And if my team wants to save me, which they might actually try, then that's gonna be a few more deaths. How long does it take for people to get... Oh. I should have looked at the map. I was thinking that, hey, since it's been two or three entire minutes, maybe we have people here finally. But no. It's fine. Draven pops off here. Tries to lease. Yep. I should have just been more careful on the map. <sighs> it's just like... It just was baffling to me that we got into that situation and we weren't there to just one-shot the people who got in on me. Who went in on me. They should leave. <laughs> oh my god. Homie got flashed on. Let's get Blue Ward. Oh, Rankton just popped the Ash there too. Now we're at a disadvantage. We have to pop off using our summoner spells. Good thing we have uh, the strongish core of our team going. This Draven, this Red Bane he's just... He's, he's actually doing more than the Kai'Sa. Like, more damage or everything. She's quite peculiar, in it? Right, let's go down there. Honestly, I honestly think we should be playing... Like... Waiting for them to go on the objective and then playing into it, but I guess we want to go for picks. They wiped their entire ball, so that's good. Nice. This cousin is dead for sure. She can actually just jump on those plants, man. Whatever. <sighs> A bit broken, but it is what it is. Let's get this hurl down. Alright. A few more gold, then we have the DMP too. Round them out like a donkey. <sighs> I kind of was just dead there. 
as soon as I stayed when my team left. I have to be more aware of where these guys are. Because they're not like a normal, solid team that plays usually. They're kind of sneaky, stuff like that. So I have to basically get used to them not being there when I need meat. Right? That's the kind of attitude I need to have if I'm going to be able to not get destroyed every two seconds. Yeah, it's gone. I shouldn't have died. What? <laughs> she actually one shot that cast in like that. Oh. All right, we have to just wake up. We've been basically useless ever since that little dragon triple kill. Nice. Good catch from us. Okay. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Whew. Let's clear these minions out. Recall, get our DMP. Is Draven fine? You should be able to just one with one, you know? Yeah, he just straight up one with one kills the reactant. Though he should be worried, because they're gonna 50 man him. Just like that. Let's run down here. We should be able to get some work done. This is one shot. No, everyone gets one shot. Okay, let's get in here. Actually, killed everyone. That's horrifying. Let's just get the wave. Not much else to do, really. <laughs> no objectives to take. No turrets. With overwhelming force. If I hooked better, maybe he wouldn't have killed them. But it's like he kind of flashed my hooks. So it's like pretty hard to detect. Pretty hard to predict from that point on, you know. Man, I'm running circles just to avoid the cocoon and she doesn't even toss it. What a let down. Any frozen her already? Oh, they nerfed it. They increased the price. Okay. <sighs> Guess we should keep up to date with the patches. Kassan 16 is around the corner. That was in from me. I thought I could have one shot the Yamumu. That was my bad. I completely into that fight. Oh. Not good. Did they end the game here, actually? Maybe. Let's see. Yes, you should. Five, four, three, two. All right, let's get right into it. We're up against Orn top. I went for double tenacity in my runes. 
and for second, not second, but thorn shield, so that I could sustain some of Orn's poke and not be pushed out of lane as easily. I'd go second wind, but I kind of want to <clears throat> get plates whenever I get kills, so I'm going for demolish, trying it out, see how well it works for me. So yeah, well, let's just get right into it. Q here. I'll try to get him in it too, but I should have moved into it faster. <clears throat> Landing Qs initially is all about positioning into what you think the enemy is going to do. Okay. Not the worst trade. Not a good one either. Especially since Owen can just sustain through a lot of things. Let's try to crash the theory even. We don't want to get killed by the Kindred. Kindred's very aggressive, especially early on, so... Gotta be careful. Let's get that. Kindred's bot lane. So we're kind of safe, but... This push wasn't too necessary. Didn't matter though. Got our CS. Let's see if we can get um, some deep vision or something. Hmm, I don't want this. Can I get on him? Her? She doesn't have flash. I kind of wanted to get there, but I didn't know whether she had her sums or not, and she just backed up so they knew I was roaming. Make no mistakes. <clears throat> Is Flash gone? I've got to run. Um, we kind of stole that kill. I'm not gonna claim I won that one. Had to go in with like a flash Q though, because otherwise the candidate could just oh, what? could just auto me to death. It's not too bad that we like waste abilities now though, because we have blue buff. That extra meat really giving us a hard time. So much to cut through. I can't just come up here. Gotta leave. Never okay. <clears throat> I'm fairly certain we can win the 2v2 though. How'd she get under me there? <laughs> nice. Great counter gag from the other one. Man, I thought I'd see her there, but I didn't. Maybe she jumped over and then jumped like that. This Evelyn's so smurf, actually. Jesus. Great kind of gank. Let's recall. Orn has TP. Just pinging it so she's aware. Let's get Merc Treads. Let's get... Triforce seems nice. I think Strybrick is better, though. Welcome to lane, and prepare to fight even further. There's a pretty meaty uh, recall there. Got a lot of kills, us two. Evelyn should be fed enough to pop off. Kindred also so behind, so that's perfect for us. Can't get much more done. She also flashed for me there, so good. She had flash. I wonder why she didn't just flash away from the Evelyn there, or flash on top of me to like kill me since I was only like 100 health. But, you know, the mysteries of junglers. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> okay. Let's get this to push into us so we can go for a kill on the Orn.
good. Let's keep the wave around here. Let's thin the wave a bit as it moves on. I'm gonna keep the ratio of enemy minions to my minions, but basically the same. While it pushes into me, so that it doesn't shift too quickly. Like a position like this is really good. If I can only get into melee range with them around here, that would be excellent. Okay. I was basically waiting for him to dash away so I could cancel with my E, then dash into us, which basically made him a free kill. And let's use our demolish. First time this game. Bam. That should take the second plate for us on its own. Now we recall. Good. Good. Maybe not good, because um, they just got <laughs> level 6 on the Kindred a bit sooner than usual. But still. <sighs> she didn't interrupt our recall, so we can go back to base in peace. Let's try to run in here. Um, if he greets for a plate... I might be able to go for a kill. Nope. Never yeah, Kendra's here. I'm gonna check this um, jungle. All right. I lose CS here, but it's not like I'd be able to get all of them anyway. Kind of don't wanna give them too much. I can't walk up. I can't walk up. Or an ult is like an instant engage for them. Nice. Okay. Get the kill. I lost a bunch of CS that was practically worthless here, so I should have just been CSing. Maybe I can just cut him off here. I can't. That was so greedy from him to go for that. Especially knowing the fact that I was, like, still here. Oh well. Another free kill to our name. And another usage of our Demolish. Gonna get the Demolish stacks off. Get this. Fruit. Actually, I'll just recall. Yeah, recall's better. I kind of want to stay in lane until I got my um, Strybreaker, but it's wiser to just go back while we can. A big mistake of mine is staying in lane and greeting. And it just leads up to me, like, while I'm ahead, I'll just stay in lane while, like, you know, not spending my gold, being lower HP, lower mana, and it just ends up in me being forced into situations where I can't use that lead to actually pressure the enemies and get stuff. So I'm gonna circumvent this error by recalling on time. Massive schlang. That's not strength. She almost dies there, which is... Quite bad for us. I don't know where the Ornn is. Ornn could have easily just ult the Evelyn or something. Where is this guy going? Well, I'll keep this freeze until the end of time. I have to be quite careful. Don't want to kill too many minions, but I also don't want to kill too little. So I kill too little, then it's going to push too fast and I have to tank wave like that. I should just push, honestly. I think what Orn's going for is like a roam, and then he's going to teleport back to lane. I don't want him to get anything done in this room. I'd rather him just stay in lane and farm. So I'm going to force him to pop up here. There we go. I think he was just farming the jungle camps of Kindred. 
Well, we know for sure he's around here, so he won't be getting to help anyone else. He has flash now, so let's be careful. Don't want to give him that cannon. Ah! Almost. I should just been spamming it. Once I get like a cannon wave, I'll go for like a forced demolish stack under turret. But I have to know whether Kindred's up here or not. If I do that while she's here, I'm just insta dead. Ooh, mid lane dies. No cannon. Oh, we got completely destroyed in that trade. Nah. Kind of hoping you catch that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, I think he's just gone. Yeah. There's no point in me even doing anything here. <clears throat> Their entire team just collapsed on us, so I had to leave there. Good that I actually left early instead of forcing it. We lose CS there, obviously, but we have no choice. We had to leave at that point. Hmm, kind of want more meat. more meat. I'm gonna go for Sterex here. Let's walk up. Now, because we're going um, for full tenacity, we don't have a lot of attack speed, which makes taking turrets and stuff quite tough. But Demolish kind of helps with that. Hmm. Plates are down, but on the brightish side, um, we should be able to just insta take the orange turret here. Here's the TP. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There he is. Ugh. Whatever. I'm not gonna stop that. One more, I'm gonna get the turret. Cannon wave too, so we can for sure go for this. No plant here. Oh well. That's the turret down, finally. Let's clear this quickly and get out of here. Actually got the last hit on it. Uh, whatever, let's leave. Try to burst it down, but no. Okay, okay. They're just farming our bot side. Does he run into anyone? Nice. Kills a kill. Let's go for these camps. Last one. Try to escape, but no. I'm gobbling all those fruits up. Leave. Twitches are on mid. Wanna go help? <clears throat> Thought I was gonna go for that. <laughs> but yeah, we lost sight of her, so it was not too smart. This is flash gone. She's right here, okay. 
Should be able to just collapse on her and put her down. She actually flash for like, like a practically a, f a feeding um, Saya. So I mean, I, I ain't hating. I ain't hating. Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Rip, 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 rip. Oh. Yeah, he just kills everyone. Nice. Oh. Let's go. We just destroyed them there. <laughs> nice. Okay. Maybe our mechanics aren't that bad after all. Oof, that's a lot of go. We shut down the Twitch, we put down the Kindred, and we got the Lulu kill. Didn't think Lulu had a bounty there. Okay. Let's think here. Um, got a lot of two damage going. I'd rather get the Sterax out of the way so that I can just not be too killable. Let's get the Death Stance too. Want that armor. Want that sweet, sweet armor. Then DMP. And we'll see what I go after that. But yeah, pretty good results so far. Pretty decent. Now, does Zoe want to keep messing around there or does she want. Papa Darius to get that turret. Jeez, I, I kind of thought that the arrow was just going to go on her and one shot her like instantly. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay. Let's uh, limit test here. Can we push the wave in? Okay, we're just not. Okay. Come on, buddy. I thought we were gonna like collapse on her and get the turret after we kill her. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, can we make a decision, please? Please. I think I'm from mid lane. I guess I'll just keep pushing this, even though like. The bot turret is a way better option if she doesn't have like our glass. It's like one Nautilus R and she's basically just dead there now. Let's go mid, protect against this. Oof, they just straight up, he melted me through my Sterax. Oh. Yeah, she's dead too. I should have honestly just ran at the Twitch instead of the R either. That would have been the way better option. Like, my, my, my thinking process was that if I go on the Twitch, then the R can, like, charm me and stop me from killing him, but, like, God. The, the amount of time it took for me to one-shot that Ari was apparently not enough. Oof, this guy's way too fed to deal with. Maybe instead of DMP, I'll go for a... What's it face? Anathema's Chains. Just to have, like, extra damage resistance against the Twitch. Then I might follow that up with, like, a Frozen Heart or Randos or something. Randos to get buffs, so I might actually just go randoms instead of 
the two things. Oh, it didn't. Ugh, I'm, I'm confusing the the changes they did on the next server. I mean, next season. It's still not too usable. Like, you have to get into melee range with the champions to use randoins. But like, if if I could do that, I don't think I'd need randoins. I'm going for this, so if I go for the turret, then uh, they might just collapse on me and kill me. Uh, let's just try to go for picks. Got my flash, so I should be in a decent-ish position to go for a one-shot on the Twitch with it. Like flash cure or something. I got their backline, but I wanted to get like the reset off on that, which didn't work out though. Can they just focus this Orn? That's like actively murdering them. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Finally, what a mess of a fight. Man, that fight made me feel like gross. Jesus, ugh. Man, what a complete disgusting mess of a fight. All right, whatever, let's go frozen heart because the Kindred's also fed now. So I gotta go frozen heart and then I might just go randoms on top of that as well. Maybe we could go like some sort of, nah. ugh. I was proposing anti-shield, but there's no way I can get that, you know? Might not be the worst thing on the Evelyn, because it just gives her like 20 magic pen to just one pop the uh, Twitch. Okay. They're doing it. They are doing it. Oh. Oof. Just actually not. I walked out there with the Nautilus. Especially when no one else was in position. We had to get them off the Baron, though, so it's such a tricky position to do anything in. Please, please ult there! Oh my gosh, she didn't time her ult. She should have ulted there. Not that it would change anything. Oh, yeah, I should not have gone there with the Nautilus. No this one third has just been alive for so long. Let's see if I can maybe cheese this Twitch here, the red buff. We're really desperate. <laughs> like, we're really desperate. Ugh, he got away. At this point, we just have to look for cheese. Because you just don't win straight up. At 5v5, five five, we don't do anything. He ult her!
got kills, I guess. That's good. Man. Almost, almost. Look at that healing man. Isn't that a bit crazy? Uh, she actually flashed on her to kill her like that. Ugh. Man, what is she doing? Why is Zoe spell pushing? Okay, um... Let's hope this works and they don't end the game. Okay. <clears throat> Never we need that extra 20% against the Twitch. <sighs> Maybe if I had my flash there, I could have want to shot the Lulu and then the Twitch too, but then the one would have peeled anyway. Let's try to get here. Match the Kindred. In our chase. Stay alert. She's only there. Okay, we have to just hold the four for a bit. I guess. My card. <laughs> RED is still two items. That's so tragic. Okay. Nice try, nice try. Like, I'd be, like, maybe tilted about her basically inting there, but without, like, desperate we are at this point, I, I don't really flame it too much. It is what it is. We should back off of this turret though. That was good. <laughs> this is impossible! Their team fighting is just so disgustingly strong. Alright, GG. There's nothing much to do here to think about. This one's over. All right, we're up against you on top. Let's try to play this matchup and win it. We've got a pretty messed up composition. Bellweth, Silas, Yumi, Jinx. They only have a lot of good team play sort of champs. I guess Yumi counts, but that's basically it. So someone essentially has to pop off a movie night in this match on our team. One of us four. Likely gonna be Belweth, because she's a very balanced champion, of course. As for the enemy team, um, I'd say their team fight is like kind of on a similar tier to ours. If like, hmm, like, I can't really be like, oh, they're much better. But eh. are we gonna invade or play this normal? What are we doing? What's the plan? Are we gonna flip the whole game on an invade? <laughs> I don't mind it. I mean, we kinda win, no? But Bebeth is kinda weak early, isn't she? Okay. So she gets that. Good. <clears throat> Let's walk up, try to CS and trade at the same time. Where's the big boy? Nice. Had to dodge that. Okay, this guy's like... <laughs> gotta get used to the range of his Q. At least on targets that move. Seriously? I'd be quite annoyed if that CS didn't die to my auto attack. Oof, we actually mindlessly second wave crashed, which is horrible. Let's get a word out. You never ever want to do a second wave crash in. It's like the worst thing ever.
it's not stuck around this position for like a long time. Can't cheat her, can't do anything. So, yeah. The bright side graves won't be here for a while. So, should be fun. Went back bot lane. Man, I've been wailing on this guy the whole lane and he's like not even that low health. <laughs> How are you going me there? I want to cancel that thing anyway. Alright, we gotta chill. Can set up a kill here. Bring him closer to here. Fernando. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Kinda expected that to happen. Go on the bright side, we got his flash for our ghost. Gotta be careful though, we're not level 5 so you can just kill us here. I need one more CS for level 5. Ugh, it's such int actually. How annoying. Okay, Salus gets the kill. A kill at least. I mean, Gray's got everything there, so... Probably the correct person to put down. Let's try to kill the Yon this time. And the fight that's gonna happen here. Stay alert. Use our flash forward. Should be able to hold this for a while. It's probably gonna slow push though. Not because like the amount of minions, but more so because of like where it's frozen, quote unquote. This is way too close to the turret to the point where any melee minion done with these is just gonna walk right into turret range. Because melee minions do that. When you're freezing or doing anything with the wave, like just melees are not your friend. <laughs> They're always just the most annoying to manipulate. Okay. He's been pretty chill here, which is understandable. At this point, the option is be chill or die. <laughs> I will not rest. I wanted to see if I could go for some sort of cheese kill, but uh, he stayed out of my range. Actually, if he just let me hook him, that would have been better, because he could just ult me under his own turret. And then, like, I have to flash out to not die. We have a pretty good CS lead, but I <laughs> doubt that's enough to uh, win the game. He underestimated my damage. And he died. Gotta be quick with this shove. Though. Never retreat. And we are out. Let's just keep it going. 
kind of lose a, like, we're probably going to lose a plate here because of how teleport is. The Bellweth can pick up some CS if she wants. Up to her. Nah, she wants the ball from the Herald. That's more understandable, I guess. All I know is last time Riot tied like a big champion mechanic to an objective, it was a disaster. Because it was like, if you guys are like, played from like, not way back then, but a few seasons back before Mordekaiser got reworked. If you would kill the dragon with Mordekaiser, <laughs> you could get like a clone of the dragon. It was like the most fun thing ever, <laughs> but <laughs> it was just so buggy and it would never work. <laughs> but like, it was really fun. Just saying that like... It was either just completely horrible or just completely overpowered. It's like one of those things where it's like, it's such a odd concept for a game like League that you can never have it balanced. It's just weird for them to bring it with Belweth back into the game, but... Hmm. Then again, Belweth is also kind of a mess, really. Okay, let's try to push this out. Yon showed bot. Not showed bot, he showed mid. <clears throat> there he is. Gray's gonna be there, so let's uh, try to not be too aggressive, I suppose. Um, he's still mid. Okay, we can kill this guy. If he gets our range, of course. Probably not, to be honest, because he does have his ult right. He can just Q through us and ult under his turret. Let's crash this in and try to impact the map. Yon's not here. Okay. I'm gonna proxy a bit. He just went around. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have. Well, I mean, I don't think I could have noticed, considering the fact that I was busy clearing the wave out. Could notice this though. She just backed off. Yeah. Rip. Roaming as Darius. Never been so much more fun. We'll clear that whole thing. With just a Q, W. Let's push this out and see if we can get some jungle camps while the graves is bought. Doesn't rip off, so it might be available for our consumption. He was probably doing the drugs. Syndra's gone from mid. Actually, no, she's right here. I'll just force a fight and kill her. I could have saved the ghost, but it would have just been too much of a bother to just go for like a, a full-on chase. So I want to get it out of the way quickly. And it's like, the top lane is at a point where I'm not going to be able to farm this guy without my flash. Because like I said, if he just has his ultimate and doesn't eat all of my stacks straight from the beginning, he can just Q through me, like God of Z, Q through me, and then just ult to his turret. And I don't really have any counterplay to that without flash. Like, with Flash, I could just do some trick like I did, like, you know, last time I killed him, but without it, I don't think it's too much of a possibility. Hmm. Let's go for a Triforce. One shot, people. I could go for a Strybreaker, too. That's a pretty decent option here as well, but they got a lot of squishies, and I'd prefer to be in a position where I can just, you know, put them down like that. That that's useful. Um, okay. Get away from my turret, boy. 
What are you thinking of that one? We got Triforce, so we might have like a a moment of like chance to just kill him by surprise. No, we don't have it, but I do have most of the components. We snuck the gold with Sheen W. <sighs> Probably the last bit of gold I'm gonna get up here. I don't know. Doesn't have R, so I don't think we're gonna catch him either way. I don't think this is possible and it's completed. This is completed into my opinion. Ugh. I just need enough for try for some and I'm out. I should just pull them right there. Oh, let's get up down here to help. Or to not die. Hmm. He's just confident out of nowhere. This is such cheese. I got gold for Triforce now, which is perfect. Perfecto. Si, senor. Nice. Alright, let's get up here. Or we can just go for the dragon, actually. Help out in this fight. Man, they just destroyed everyone there. Can Belleth even jump over walls in this form? Whatever. That one kill. Oh, if you landed that, they might have been able to kill him too. That sucked. We got some gold, and actually, if we're looking at it from like a sheer gold perspective, aside from the graves, like Lulu's the only one there with a, with a bounty. So, if we're looking at it from a business perspective, that's probably the kill that's worth the most gold. But obviously, right, it's still not good that we died there, considering how fed we were. Well, not fed, but we're, we're pretty well farmed, right? And you don't want to ruin that with a bunch of deaths. Actually, yeah, Jinx popped off. That's perfect. Should really get the dragon now, actually. Perhaps I should get on top lane to get the turret. I was just here, like, as insurance in case the... Whatever they were doing there doesn't go our way. You know? Oh, right. They actually chased through the entire map and killed. Like, <laughs> I just blinked my eye once. <laughs> they were here. <laughs> Man. How funny is League of Legends? Alright, well, that's enough of... Farming, I suppose. I'm gonna still, like, stay around here, make sure Botwee is pushed, but... Let's just say that there's not much left for me to do. That sums... See if we can cheese someone here. Pretty sure I can one combat this Syndra. Uh, I want to go like the second she actually used her push away CC ability, right? Because <laughs> it looked like she was never gonna actually, you know, 
get in my melee range. They're getting the sauce. Jesus. She do those two like at the same time. Let's just keep her here. She's like a big part of their way clear with Sayatop. They actually don't have too much. So they should probably back off by now. They're likely coming back. Okay. Still there? Seriously? Should I jump over and make a play? Where's the wave? She wants to come too. Let's go! We get a turret. Man, this Silas is still not killed. Like, they, they have like an active manhunt for him specifically, and he's still alive. That is quite commendable, let's say. Bit more farm and then we can get our Sterex. Just straight up. Let's help here. I'll try to. What is happening? I'm too slow for this. I'm gonna go sneak these waves in. Then recall for my Sterex. Yeah, it's just Graves who can move on me here. I'm sure I beat him quickly. Oh, they might be doing Baron here, actually. Should be careful. I got Blue Ward. Like, we, don't, we have really bad vision, because we have, like, a Yumi, right? So... We need to spam blue wars to actually have vision on objectives and things like that. I have my order. I had to pick up like a control word or two just to keep it around here. I had someone else. Someone's put it down already. Let's go bot. Push this out then. We're not that much aside from just farming this whole match. Quite preposterous, isn't it? No not really. Okay, let's keep going. Hello, bro. They just cleared the Baron. Um, I thought I was gonna get some help. Oh my. <laughs> I thought it was very clear that when the graves went like that, they were for sure gonna try some cheese on me. And I thought the normal human reaction to that is to counter cheese them. But I guess not. I guess not. What are we doing here? Alright, this is so like. <laughs> like, such a disorganized game. <laughs> Man, like, I thought we were on the same page here. But apparently not. Oh well, let's get the dragon. Which was like the whole point, I suppose. And I also got the graves, which is good. I think I can afford to go death stance here. Because essentially speaking, this cinder is not gonna be too much of a problem if I just like avoid her, right? I'm just not gonna I'm gonna try to go to the lanes where she isn't at, you know? And essentially just leave her to other people while I match this Yon, deal with the graves and stuff like that. Oof, they actually just griefed our Sal's bounty. Will rise. 
it's a bit messed up. Can't sleep. Don't want to get one tapped here. Oh, and they're Doom Baron. Because of this positioning, I'm pretty sure we all we just lose that. Like, I mean, to be fair, we did lose two out of five, so not much we can do really. Okay, Syndra literally ran it down and actually killed the Jinx. <laughs> that works, I suppose, for killing our most fit champion. Someone will have to illuminate this to me, but isn't Phantom Dancer better than Rapid Fire in every single way? I guess with Jinx, it might help to get those like reach auto attacks, but these guys kind of go in on her constantly. With like the Yon and the Graves. My destination is clear. Whatever they're doing, they better stop now, because... Zaya, Graves, and the Lulu are probably on their way top. Ooh, actually, Zaya has strolled. Kaching. That's one Baron Baron down. A singular Baron down. Fine then. We're gonna reach. This is a little messed up. Jesus Christ. I'm not built for these kinds of high octane mobile fights. Bow. Can't one shot him. If you kill the graves at least. Oh Are you serious? Oh my god. The slows are so killer, man. Get a pick at least. Kind of need more gold for death dance recalls. So I'm just gonna sit here and farm these jungle camps and this wave if someone's there to push it. Yeah, so. That Triforce W damage. Sheesh. Let's try to be quick with this. The uh, dragon's up soon. I'll just sell my uh, D Blade. Okay, let's get into the action. It should be relatively strong right now. It's just that, like, the Union team has such a high range and just, like, you know, the ability to impede my approach to them that it's quite difficult for me to do anything, like, in general. Okay, the Jinx one-shot everyone, so that's good. <laughs> I guess the prophecies were true. Someone did have to just break it all down on 1v9. 
Let's go bomb mid push. I wanted to go for the top push because the Zai was alone and I could maybe just walk up an iron killer, but it's far easier to just get these two items that are like right there. <clears throat> Now, I haven't seen her with, like, her, like, clones or kids? I don't know what they are. The, the Void Critters. I haven't seen those once this game. Ooh! I'm upset that the, the Graves doesn't get stunned, but honestly, it's probably for the better. Because if you did get stunned, I would just run up. And get killed. Okay. Pretty default game. So guys, next one. Peace out. Alright, everybody. It's Miroku back with some elite really content. If I sound weird today, sorry, but I am a little sick. Anyway, we're up against Vayne Top. This team in general is not the... Like, it's not the worst team in the world to fight in general, right? But... Because they have a vein top, we're not going to be able to snowball too hard or do too many things in lane. Our plan is to basically just play safe and play well enough to the point where we can leave lane while being at least not so behind. We're going to be behind, obviously, but we got to try to be not too behind so that we can actually play the game and contribute to the team fights. It's quite crucial because we counter the Hecarim, right? Darius is really good against Hecarim, so we can basically try to... You know. <clears throat> Be useful in team fights. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say. She dies from that. I have to wait until the very last tick of the bleed, so that the last auto attack will kill her. <clears throat> it's going to be quite tough to crash this still. That was perfectly done by us. I started the all-in with my E rank when she used her Q, so she won't be able to kite me that well. I'll take that. She's half health. Let's recall. Are they gonna try to cheese me here? <laughs> I think she thinks I'm recalling here. But nope. I have I have future sight. Anyway, um, let's just get right into our Tobbies. We're gonna need Tobbies for the lane. Obviously, can't live with him. The thing with the matchup is that even if you get Tobbies, it's not like you're going to win. It's just that without Tobbies, she kills you even quicker than usual. So it's quite good to have. I'm pretty sure they killed Hecarim here. Nah. Oof, nah, nah, nah. Once one person went down, he could just kill them both. And Nami didn't have the means to continue that fight. Oh, well. It is what it is. Vayne is half health here and no sums. So we won't be able to go for like a... Kill or two. Not two, but just a kill. Nice. I'm kind of surprised she didn't um, condemn me there. I'm going to go for the freeze. Slightly better option, honestly. If I push, I mean, pushing is a decent option here too, but I'm going for the freeze so that, like, one, if the Vayne thinks Diana's still top, she won't actually walk up and let me see us in peace. And two, I want to go back on a bit more than just Tobbies, because we're, like, kind of setting up to do really well in lane, despite the matchup. Oh, 
Oh my god! I pressed Q and it wouldn't go off, so I had to press it again and it was too late. Man. Uh, that was perfect, but... I pressed Q too early, so like, it wasn't off cooldown by then. That was perfect! Uh. Oh well, there goes the lane. I threw it by being too greedy. Yeah, I should've just been careful the whole time. Instead of, you know, messing with her after I missed my hook. The thing with the matchup is that you gotta predict, like, her tumble and E, like, before she can do it. Because the thing with, like, Vayne is that, like, it's really weird, but because of how fast her tumble is, and I don't know how it works, like, her hitbox moves faster than her. Like, you know how when, like, Trinomir moves or, like, Aatrox uses his dash, or even Akali with her E? If you pull correctly, you can cancel them. I don't think I've ever cancelled Vayne Tumble, unless she was like, melee range basically, in breathing distance. It's just pretty fast. Okay, the minion's attacker. I'll take that. Ghost for ghost. Gonna slow push this right here. If I have my E up, I should be able to one combo her under turret. Ah, oh, she's recalling. Smart move. By her, obviously. Just mid. Good. We got a bunch of CS here, which is perfect. And also turret plates. That should be enough. Boom! <clears throat> Let's go for Strybreaker. We cannot go Triforce into Vayne. Like, that much is obvious. Okay. I want Hearthbound, but then again. Like, it might be better to just go for Kill and Gem here. Actually, no, let's just go Hearthbound. And I'll buy a Longsword so I can build uh, Sterex with it in the future. Because we're not going to be getting too fed, Death Stance is just a bit sketchy. And obviously, not to mention how Vayne does true damage. So, yeah. <laughs> not going to build Death Stance into true damage. And I'm, I'm not CSing this Vayne, actually, by quite a significant amount. <laughs> I mean, this isn't going to last long because she just hit level 6, and Vayne level 6 is um, pretty hard to play against if she has a brain. What is she doing? What? Are you kidding me? What was that? <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> she just suicided into me. Oh man. Hmm. Let's play detective here. Why would she do that? Option one is she saw that the Hecarim was topside. And she wanted to force a fight for the Hecarim to get in here. Oh, this is worded. That's option one. Option two is, she knew with level six she just wins the fight, so she forced it, but that kind of led to her being careless and losing. Hmm. Lots of different outcomes for why on earth she'd do that. But I think the more likely is that Hecarim was here, and she thought that he could just run up and help her in time, but he kind of just was hanging around here and then he just left and then after that he went bot lane because you know when your vein does something like that i'd go ball lane too and they're getting a lot of success ball lane so maybe that's not the worst play one thing's for sure we have to be um strong because if not it's gonna get pretty rough to try to win this game oh no 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 Nice. That was close. Ooh. Honestly, I should just like not wasted my flash. But I wanted to put some damage on her so that when Diana got there, the chance of her 2v1ing is very low. Obviously, Diana will probably just one-shot her on her own, but the thing is, right, 
the, th the scenario I was afraid of is I run away like this. I do no damage to her. So Vayne is basically full HP, right? And when the Diana shows up, the Vayne basically ults or whatever. Kites the Diana, like dodges her like skill shock thing and basically just grinds her to dust like that. So I didn't want that to happen. Didn't want Diana to waste her flash because she's more important than me. So I went for the aggressive option of just flashing on her. But in hindsight, it was probably not the most worth worth thing, though. Like, I will admit that. <clears throat> Man, they are getting camped. This is not good. They're a little pushed up, too, so... Let's hope that the Diana can get in there and get some work done. Is he fine? Do I have to get in there? Nice, fine. Yep. I know that the Akali was for sure going to take that if that E landed. Alright, I'll take it. Not the best thing in the world because she lived. But it is what it is. Ugh, gross. <clears throat> Stay alert. We gotta be careful here. Oh! <laughs> Did they survive like that? Oh my god, I'm kind of tilted about that. If it was just a Hecarim diving, I'd obviously kill him. If it was just the Akali, I'd obviously kill her, but both. Yeah, three mans are a bit tough to deal with. On the bright side, we get mid turret, which is absolutely huge. So that's good. <clears throat> I get T2 as well, or I don't think so. Man, Diana should have stayed here to get that T2 as well. Cool, Vega gets it on his own. That's so worth, that's so worth. We get three men here to help this Vayne out, and they actually get both of these turrets. And it's so much gold for the Vagar too. I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy about that. Why are you, why are you running? Why are you running? That was kind of insane. Yeah, that, that was insane. Not the cool, sick insane, that was the crazy insane. They kind of should have just waited, honestly. But, eh, it is what it is. Can we cheese this? Oh. Yeah. I, I just died for that for no reason. I should have just left it alone and backed off. I thought that the turret would go down faster. So that while she's in my melee range, I'd be able to kill her. But <laughs> that last nine health there... Ugh, it just was like, all right, you're dead. Because the one percent chance I had of fighting back there was just gone at that split second. <sighs> this is just the problem with the vein lane. Is that like, no matter how hard you like snowball initially, no, no matter how well you do initially, there's just a zero percent chance of you snowballing because just the champion hard counters you. So even though this vein just died to me. In the most stupid ways, a few times, it does not matter. It's just how it is. And dealing with that is quite annoying. I should I kill this Callista, I guess? I got some, so I might be able to 2v1 here. Mako is not here. We might be able to dive her. Uh... She doesn't want to, okay. Breath noises. I do not tolerate coward. Okay, let's get bot turret, close to the left. Get out 
out of here. Whew. Pretty cool, right, guys? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? <laughs> We did lose a bunch of sums for that. Was it worth it? Yes, it looked cool. It was worth it. Um, let's get blue ward. I'm gonna try to see if I can get vision here. With a blue ward, see if they're doing it. Try to stop them if they are. I got a good flank going. Ah, okay, it's ours. Um. We're five man in this? Okay. <clears throat> Let's -a go. I don't have R yet, so she should be a bit careful in, t in terms of her aggression. I should have tanked that, honestly. Then the Akali would be baited to fighting me, and then Adana could just jump in and kill her. Sometimes I have to just tank abilities instead of dodging them. Let's just hold it here for now, then. Noxus will Has she done damage with that? Oh. Can I cheese this? No, nope, it's too risky. Oh my god, how many dashes can you have? Oh, she also got, she has ghost? What? I didn't think she had ghost. Oh. All right, I'll take the L, I guess. Man, it's so crazy. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and then just enough to chase me down there. Should be a free-ish kill for Diana. Not sure why the flash was necessary, but okay. Oh, she saved the turret. Nice, good. I'll go top then. Just cover that area. After Sterex, I might have to get a bit of MR. But not like... I have to focus on MR, just get a little bit. After that, I have to go... After the little bit of MR, Frozen Heart. It was good here. Oh, okay. Can Caitlyn do damage? I don't think she'll be too useful in a fight against the Vayne. I'm not him. Who are you? Okay. She has vision there? bit of healing. <laughs> oh! I messed that up by the way. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Diana just one shot her with just like the thing that did a third of her health. Get us there, X. Hmm. 
I'm gonna put this on the Baron anyway. Just in case we know that, like, if there's any activity from the enemy team around it, we just know it. Oh no. Man, that was kind of, that trap was perfect too. Oh, me, that trap was so perfect that she could have just flashed it and then just straight up solo killed her. All right, let's kill as a color. Bro, what is that moose? Be? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get back here. I thought that would take way less time. He's dead. Perfect. Let's get this. I think I can match the thing there. Good. Let's recall. Ooh, should I get a kill here? The best thing about Frozen is just how cheap it is. Like, you can get it in, like, two recalls or so without even going for, like, massive kills or whatever. Just normal farming. I'll leave the vein to the others. I'll try to match the Akali for now and, you know, come in when I'm needed. They are kind of concentrated around there, though, so might be needed now. I don't think I'm the right guy for the job here because I don't have TP. <laughs> okay. Gonna be hanging around. Okay. That happened. Alright. Um, <laughs> just ignore it and <laughs> move on with my day. Gotta push me out. Then maybe go for a flank there. The enemy team is not going for it, so I can just go back down here and clear out. Oh, they are okay. Yeah, I don't think I impact that anyway. Good, they one shot the heck out. Of it. Their whole team fight's just gone there. Good. Their whole team's dead. I don't even need to do anything here. I'm missing everything. See ya! We won the anime fight. <laughs> it's like an anime character teleporting all over the place. Bop! Get out of my sight, bro. If Darius was a character from an anime, who would it, who would he be? And before everybody says guts, aside from guts, because that's way too obvious. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's get. Uh, I'm just gonna get the cloak, and uh, that should be enough for the Akali. Aside for those, I might just go for DMP. DMP seems to be better for me because I just have a very big need to get around the map quickly. <clears throat> Make no mistakes. Let's chill. They're definitely going to go for a kill on me here. Hecarim's running in here. Kai's coming. Malkai's coming. Yeah. Uh, they probably leave by now. Okay, they're f they're they're probably gonna go for something around here. There he is. I see you, creature. Okay. 
Okay, let's go for a flank here with a Diana. She doesn't have an R. He has R too? Oh my god. They have everything up? How'd they die then? Whatever. Don't die here. Can we siege this? Their vein just got back. That works out. Nice, let's get out of here. Vayne's top lane for some reason, okay. <clears throat> let's do this dragon and then leave to match the Vayne. She's obviously going to go for some sort of stupid rage split play. Baron's not spawned yet. I might have to recall now. The supers can protect that better. I gotta go top. Oh my god! I, I didn't believe she'd stay in my range like that. So I didn't go for the hook. Uh, I agree with you there. I agree with you there so badly. Oh no, she's gonna get the Diana kill. Uh, they just let her like run around everything and snipe the Diana. <sighs> That's no good. Yeah, I should have just pulled the vein right there. And the best part is because their whole team is there, I probably just kill everyone along with her. Ugh. I gotta focus up better. It's one of my issues. My skill at detecting plays that I don't plan has gone down because I've been playing the game a lot less. Gotta, you know, do other stuff in my life. But yeah, we gotta get sharper if we're gonna win games. All right, let's farm up a bit more. Get the MP. On the bright side, Akali is basically useless now. I think after her glorious defeat at our hands, she's just given up. Let's go for this. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to instantly commit to that wave because, like, I was like, okay, why is the vein not top lane? Like, surely you'd be there to protect your base when your inhibs threaten, right? But, uh, yeah, um, apparently not. Mm. Uh, I have to defend this turret, I guess, but. Thing is, if our team wins there, we just end the game. Diana needs help. Yeah, she went in too deep. Should have backed off. Okay. Let's keep pushing then. Vayne's teleported back. Plus the has GA. Okay, let's push up. We should have DMP soon. Can I get this camp? Good, yes. Alright, you can have it, buddy. There you go. <laughs> 
I'm not exactly at the cusp of getting an item, right? So I'm okay just giving him this. <laughs> oh. There we go, that's one kill. Good, two kills. Bad that the Vagar died though. That sucked. But their whole team is around here. I'm gonna recall, get DMP, and just run straight into the Baron. Okay. The is not contesting. Okay. I'll, I guess, try to keep these lanes pushed out. Not really much that, there for me to do. I could try to engage this for the Caitlyn. She probably does damage by now. Missed the hook, stole the kill. Plonk champ. Okay. I got to defend, I think. I think I said it's fine. You left? Ugh. We gotta get more done with our barons. As it stands, we're just wasting them. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> the second she got caught by that, like, ever lost, it was doomed. Okay, we got the Hexic Soul too. Perfect. Get these turrets, get the third inhibitor. I'm loving this Hextech Dragon attack speed. Oh, we're ending the game. Okay, let's end. Let me get into the... Alright. GG. That's pretty much it for this match. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.